extravaganza. We are surprising her all show long. I am in shock. Yes. Th this is true. I am in total shock. Well, it's time to get into one of our favorite things, Drew. Wanna Good news. The headlines. Let's hit it. All right. First up, the Atlantic reports on a big question. Could ice cream actually be good for you? Huh. Well, yeah, the audience wants it to be true. And researchers have found that those who ate ice cream no more than twice a week appeared to be 12% less likely to develop cardiovascular disease. What? Compared to those who don't eat ice cream. Yeah, but it's important to note that other aspects of a person's health include how healthy they are. All of that was taken into account. And guess what? If you're in the mood for ice cream, <laughs> look behind you. <laughs> Flavor just for you. It's called Drew Berry More Cheesecake. Oh my God, are you serious? Yes. It's cheesecake ice cream with swirls of raspberry jam and chunks of graham cracker crust. Just a little bit. You want to taste just a little bit yeah. right now? All right, well, bring it on out. Rachel's birthday too today. Thank you. Thank you. you guys, Rachel and I are birthday Rachel. twins. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to get a taste of the very yes. more? By the way, spoon. Yeah. Spoon. Spoon. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Cheesecake is my very favorite. Oh, wow. mm. it's good. Mm. Oh my god, it's incredible. Oh my god, the graham cracker. Oh my God, the cheesecake of it all. Mm. Here, let's go behind the desk, okay. you guys. Come on, okay. come on, come on, come on. Wow, that's incredible. Wow. That's great. And Rachel, okay. as yes. we come around the desk, we have to talk about your podcast, Woo Woo oh, with yes. Rachel Drax. Okay. Now, this is where you dive. You dive into the stories of the unexplained, the eerie. Have you have you always been into the other world? Well, at I'm not all? like a super woo woo person, but I just, I enjoy hearing a good woo woo story. And okay. then I was like, why not have funny friends on and talk about this stuff? Define woo-woo. Okay, so woo was sort of like, you know, paranormal, like things that might get you laughed out of a room full of scientists sort of thing, like <laughs> like ghosts and psychics and strange coincidences. And yeah. So, like, you often find sitting around people that everyone has one of those stories. So uh, I was yeah. like, why not chat about this? With So we've had, like, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler and Vanessa Williams and, and then also just friends I've had over the years with, like, really crazy stories, so you might not know who they are, but really crazy like astral projection and time travel and weird stuff. Yeah, you, you, you like psychics and things like that, that whole do, world, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, we know that. And um, speaking of the spirit world, we have a little birthday surprise what? for you, well, Rachel. Well, I wasn't Take psychic a about this. Right yeah, here. For, a message from one of your favorites. Oh, what? Who's this gonna be? Hi, Drew. Hi, Rachel. Psychic medium John Edward here. And oh happy God. birthday, ladies. And Rachel. I hear that you're fascinated by the spirit world and all things supernatural and psychic. So I would like to give you a personalized reading. Oh my. You never know who may come through. Happy birthday. Oh, I love it. Well, since we have you here at the desk, can we do a news story? You guys want of the course. news? Yeah. So, Jewel, we're going to have you take this headline. All right. I don't know what I'm reading, but I'm excited. The okay. Salt Lake Tribune reports Carol Burnett. Oh, I love Carol Burnett. Did not ever want to be on television. Oh, thank God she didn't listen to herself. <laughs> she recently came out to say, quote, at first I wanted to be only in Broadway and musicals like Ethel Merman and Mary Martin. But she said, then I got on Gary Moore's show where we started doing sketches and comedy. And I realized that I would rather do things different every week than be doing the same thing eight times a week on Broadway. Can we all agree Carol Burnett is a gift? A lot of women would not have the opportunity that Absolutely. they do. I mean, yeah. she's such a pioneer. I mean, you just, you can't. Carol you Burnett's can't. like the one. She she's is. the Meryl Streep of comedy. Exactly. She'll make you nervous, right? Yeah. So, take a look. Hey, Drew. Carol here. I'm sending you much love. 
Happy, happy birthday, sweetheart. You are terrific. Thank you for, like, I'm gonna go replay that like 50 times over. We'll get you a tape, all right? We have so many surprises coming. Why not a surprise for our audience as well, mm. okay? So yes, please! Yes, please! Can you hand me that? We were all eating our Van Leeuwen ice cream. Well, guess what? You're all going home with a $100 Van Leeuwen gift card. The surprises are keep coming. We'll be right back. Some more surprises.